How do you make money shorting stocks? I'm gonna to try to explain here for full dis, you know, disclosures, transparency sake. I'm 100% stealing, plagiarizing this idea, this explanation from a good friend of mine. When I explained shorting to him, he was like, oh, so it's kind of like this? And I was like, hey, John, that's actually a really good way of looking at it. In fact, I might have to make a video on it. So John, thank you for the suggestion there. But, and I think he'll be okay with me. I don't even know if this is plagiarizing anymore given I'm citing the source, but point being, Let's explain shorting and how you can make money from it. So the whole idea, the backbone of shorting, of going short, of being short a stock or a you know Forex pairing, this is just anything in the financial markets, is you want this. It is all about downwards arrows. And what does that downwards arrow represent? Well, the price. Now that price could also be a value, but point here being, you wanna see price's value go down. That is gonna be very helpful to you. How so? Well, let's look at it like this. And we'll use John as our example here. So we have John and he's looking at a stock and that stock is trading for, just to keep the math super, super easy, $100. Now here's the first bizarre part about shorting is you sell first, okay? I get it, you sell first and then you buy. So in this situation, and like I said, just keep the math easy. Let's say John is looking at a stock and says, you know what, it's trading at $100. I wanna short one share. So that means that he is going to go out there and actually sell one share for $100. Now, in any area of life, when you sell something, what happens? You're saying, well, I, I get to put money in my pocket, right? I, I actually get money. You sell something, by definition, means you're getting money. So that's the first part of shorting, is what I'm gonna call the get. So because John is doing, well, two, one share pair, but because John is doing one share at $100, how much does John get? Well, hopefully you're saying, well, Clay, I'm not a mathematical wizard, but if he's shorting, if he's selling one share for $100, he is going to get $100. Good job, you're, you're, you're a mathematical genius. So now this is where the big part of the transaction and the trade comes into play because this next part is gonna determine whether John is actually gonna make money shorting the stock or actually if he might lose money. So big question mark here comes in the next part. So we have the get, but like I said, now we have to consider, well, the keep. Meaning of that $100, how much does John get to keep? Well, in order to exit a short-sided trade, you buy second. Again, I'll say it again. In order to, to, to start off the trade, you sell, and then to exit the trade, to end the trade, you have to buy. Now, what does it take to buy something in, in normal life? You're saying, well, Clay, if I wanna buy something, then I need to actually, well, use some money, right? So in this situation, how much money does John have to go out there and buy the stock? Remember, because he's already sold it, but he's gotta buy it back. You're saying, well, Clay, you just told us that he got $100, so he has $100 to go buy the stock. Exactly, so let's look at a couple different scenarios. Let's say in one scenario, the price here drops down and let's just say in this situation, the stock drops down to $80. So that means at this point in time, John can go out there and buy the stock for how much? Oh, here's that. Well, Clay, you literally just told us it dropped down to $80. Exactly. So John can buy a one share of that stock for $80. How much money does, have John, how much money does John have though? Well, he's got $100 to go out there and do shopping with. That's what he got when he sold. So what does that mean for in terms of what he gets to keep? Well, if he originally had the $100, but then he'd go out there and has to you know, use $100 of that to buy back the shares at $80, what does that leave him with? Well, John just made $20, right? He got $100 for selling. He was able to go out there and buy the stock back for a lesser price, hence why that we wanna see this, right? You wanna see prices going down. When they go down, then you get to go out there and buy it cheaper. And when you get to buy it cheaper, well, guess what? You get to keep money, and that is the profit. So in trading jargon, in this situation, John would have made $20 per share. Now, he only got one share, but had he gotten 10 shares, you know, that would have been bigger. Had he had 100 shares, that would have been even bigger. But that's how the math works out. But on the flip side of things, we gotta look at the painful part. Let's say that, I don't know, for whatever reason, the stock, did this, and it decided to just kaboom. It went up to $150.
Well, let's run through that math once again. How much did John get when he sold? Well, he got $100. How much is it gonna cost them to buy that share? Do you see the problem here with the math? It's going to cost him minus $150. So if, if you've ever done subtraction, 100 minus 150 puts him at what? A negative 50. Meaning all the money he got is gone, plus he still owes $50. So not only does he not get to keep anything, he still owes on top of that $50. So from this short-sighted trade, that would be a $50 loss per share. And that is how you make money. Or I guess in that situation, that's how you lose money. But you wanna see prices going down for this reason. It's all at the core. That's all shorting is, is how much do you get? And then how much do you get to keep? In situations where you, where you don't get to keep anything and then you still owe money, that's where you lose money. But if you're able to keep, you know, the more you can keep, the better. That's the best way to go. And again, how do you keep money? Well, you wanna see those prices drop further and further down. Now I do offer another video on it um, and I, you know, I'll put a link down below in case maybe you want the other angle explanation. But I thought this was a great explanation because that's really all it is, is you're selling first. And when you sell, you put money in your pocket. Then you gotta go out there and buy with that money you put in your pocket. So ideally, well, yeah, you wanna buy that same exact stock or whatever financial asset you're trading for less money because when you can buy it with less money, you get to keep the remaining money left over as your profit. And you, <laughs> you don't wanna see this where you, everything's gone, you don't get to keep anything, and then you still owe money. But that is how shorting works. That's how the math behind it works. And that's how you're either gonna be making money or losing money. So hopefully this explanation helped out. If you enjoy videos like this, then a couple quick things. The first way, the very quick and time efficient way, just hit that like button. Second, comments, questions, suggestions, maybe for future videos, leave those down below. I do read comments, I will reply to them. And then lastly, please check out the channel as a whole if you like what you see. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, so hit that red subscribe button and hopefully uh, you, know, can, you can just be notified and we can, uh, we can hang out a little bit more through the comment section and what have you. But hit that subscribe button and yeah, get out there and let me, if you have any questions or if you have any other good ideas that I can plagiarize from you to uh, use a YouTube video, don't worry, I'll, I'll admit that I'm plagiarizing it. But yeah, get out there and this is how shorting works, so potentially try it, make some money. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.